Hi, this is another question against which I am getting lots of queries and certainly this question has a confusion of definition. First, let me read out the question that A be any set, any set, let A be any set, no mention, finite or infinite and then P A, the power set of A. Now the options are about P A, whether it is finite, infinite, countable, uncountable. So first of all, even if set is empty, suppose A is empty, then P A will have at least one set, this, as one element, which is empty set. So for any set A, either empty or non-empty, P A is never empty. So option 1 is incorrect. Second option is P A is finite set for some A. Certainly, we know very fundamental 12th, 12th standard. If A has n element, then we know P of A has 2 raised to the power n element. So, if A is finite, P A has to be finite. So, this again regarding this option, there is no confusion that P A is finite set for some A. Certainly, this option 2 is correct. Now, third option, P A is countable set for some A. Now, whether this option is correct or incorrect. Now, here I just uh, give you some references that there are differences of definition of countable set. Some author, if I start quoting, Apostle writes in his book Mathematical Analysis, he writes, a set is said to be countable if it is either finite or countably infinite, where countably infinite means which is similar to n. That is, if a set has one to one correspondence with n, there is bijection between set and n, the set of natural number, then set is called countably infinite. And then Apostle mentions, if a set is either finite or countably infinite, is referred as countable. That means, even finite set can be taken as countable sets. So, third option P A is countable set for some A. So, in this reference, this option comes out to be correct. But another popular author, Walter Rudin, if I take reference, Walter Rudin, he writes, a set is countable if it is range of a sequence or rather range of a function, one one function, he specifies one one function from n to set of real number or from any set rather if he uh, I think I should be very clear about this what Rudin says a set is countable if it is range of a function whose domain is n and function is 1 1 in fact Rudin talks about countably infinite set as countable set that is a set is countable as per Rudin if it is similar to n that is countably infinite so if we take that power set of a I can prove it it is never never countable countably infinite either it is finite or countably infinite. So, if we consider definition by Walter Rudin option 3 is incorrect, but if we take as apostle option 3 is correct, but in that case it has to be finite. So, here by Cantor's theorem I just elaborate the concept of this question as from n to p n onto map cannot be defined from any set to its power set onto map cannot be defined. So, power set of any infinite set is always, always uncountable. So, power set of a set is either finite or uncountable. The question third option, so fourth option is of course correct, P A is uncountable set for some A, yes, very much true. Whenever A is infinite, P A is uncountable. P A is either finite or uncountable. It is never countably infinite. So, if third option P A, that reference of countable set is for countably infinite, of course, it is incorrect, which by Walter Rudin, if we take reference, third option is incorrect. By lots of author, they take countable as finite or incon uh, or countably infinite. So, as if I again take reference of uh, Rudin, he uses 
at most countable so there are two school of thoughts one uses at most countable for finite or countable infinite and some other school of thought they simply use the word countable for finite or countably infinite so this option one is of course incorrect two is correct fourth is correct you can select this but third option i think i'll suggest ki you should inform csir what definition they are taking give references and then let them decide thank you